60% of men who are under the age of 30 are single, but then only 30% of women are... First off, I'll just say that in explaining this, I'm surprised by it. So I'm yeah. really going off the cuff here. Women tend to date men who are a few years older on average. Women in their late 20s on average will be dating men in their 30s. Mm -hmm. So that alone could account for some of the difference. That's and then true. the other thing that I'm thinking of is when a woman is in a situation ship, she might not be as likely to consider herself single as a man who's in a situation ship. Right. So those are two factors that I could see potential. It could also be men cheating. Could be that some of those 30% of men are telling multiple women that they're in a relationship. Because, you know, I know women who were dating guys who didn't realize that those guys were married. In their head, they're like, that's my boyfriend. It's like, no, that's actually her husband. So that could be part of it. I'm busting his windows. If I find this guy is married, that's crazy. Yeah. But a lot of men do it. But yeah, it could really validate the whole red pill movement about how like younger guys just wait until you're 35, right? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of interesting. I will say that like the red pill take that men get more valuable with age is true like in your 20s. Obviously, like a 29-year-old man is more attractive than a 20-year-old man. Like he brings more to the table. It's also just not that serious. And it also doesn't last that long. Once you cross like 35, you really are on the downslope as a man as well.